What's going on Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the match that I'm presenting to you today. This is a anything goes type of battle where I battle a random person over Wi-Fi and he just brings whatever he feels like. I don't have any control over anything. However, I am bringing a specific type of team that you see on the screen there. I'm bringing all three starter Pokemon from the Alolan region. So you have Primarina, Incineroar, and Decidueye all in the same battle. Isn't that amazing? I wish a lot more trainers did that, but for me specifically, I thought this was a strategy that I haven't done before, so this is brand new to me. In addition to all three of the starters, I have Gonfan to set up Stealth Rocks. We also see Dragology. Dragology is a offensive variant, but it's also bulky as well. And then finally, we have a Alakazam. I think he's holding, it's not a Mega, so it's important to note that right here. It's a Focus Sash Alakazam, so I can survive a hit regardless of the attack. Unless I get hit by Skull Thrust or Spikes, it wouldn't work. But I'll survive a hit at full HP, and then we'll hit the opposition very hard there. So, my opponent is bringing a Darkrai, and let me tell you, Darkrai is a threat. I do have answers, like Primarina, and we see Dragology. Dragology can probably hit it with a Draco Meteor. It's pretty frail, Darkrai is. And I have a good answer for it. As long as it doesn't have Dark Void, we are okay. I also see a Kamoo that could also bring the Z Power move. That could be a huge threat. Gardevoir could go Mega, but we don't know that until we see the actual match. Necrozma. Silvali. You don't know what type it is. I'm going to assume that it's normal type. That's its default form. And then finally, he has his own Incineroar. So we have two Incineroar in the entire match. So here we go. We're about to begin the match. I have my awesome intro right here for you. Sending our Pokemon out in dramatic fashion. I'm going to start with Treadback, the Dawn fan. And though I could live a Dark Pulse, I was fearing that he didn't have Dark Void. It doesn't look like it, because he could have used Dark Void right there, but he uses Dark Pulse. This Gonfan is more physically based than special, so moves like Dark Pulse are going to take me out. Luckily though, I have my Stealth Rocks up, and I don't think he has a Rapid Spinner or Defogger. On that note, let's go into Primarina and scare the Darkrai out. I was going to go with a Moonblast, and I am going to, but I had also considered some other options. But I felt like going for the Moonblast was a safer play. I don't want to over-predict on this part of the battle. It's too early to over-predict. Gardevoir isn't here. I was wondering if it's Mega or not, but we you say the regular one, so that's good. I'm going to stay in and go with the sparkling area, and that's going to finish off the Gardevoir. He went for the Psyshock, and it's getting over half. Here's Necrozma. I can't really do anything to it, so I'm going to switch out again. Going to my Incineroar. He goes for the Psyshock. Doesn't affect me, so that's a great switch on my end. We're going to scare away the Necrozma for now. He goes into Kamoo, and like I said, Kamoo is a threat. If he doesn't have his uh, own Z-Power, we should be okay. I predicted him to switch, which is why I went into using U-Turn right there. Alakazam is a really good candidate for Kamoo. I thought he was going to switch. Which is why I went back into Primarina the way I did. It was really obvious I was going to go for a Psychic. He would switch out, right? I guess I was wrong. So, I go into Primarina. I just go for a Moonblast. 
And Dr. Rosma doesn't take it that well, which is okay. I could stay in and go for another one, but I was expecting him to use a Photon Gazer, which is a really powerful attack. Fortunately, Alakazam will survive it. And we see Zechariah is not holding anything. I'm oh, sorry. As far as I know, it's not holding anything, so we're good there. I make a stupid play. I go with a Shadow Ball. I guess it's better than going for Psychic, but, like, Psychic is immune. Shadow Ball does a little bit of damage. Here, I overpredict. I should have switched out into Dragology then. Because without Alakazam, how the hell am I going to take care of Kamolo? Because Kamolo is going to be a problem later on. You see there, he went for Thunder and Mist. I thought he was Choice Scarfed or something. I guess I was wrong on that front. So we take care of Darkrai because he missed that Thunder. I'm not sure if I would survive. I think I would go down with that Thunder. Because I'm at that low HP there. Anyway, so we see Sabelli, and I'm not scared of it, but at the same time, he has so much coverage options. I'm not sure what type it is, but it's okay. I have a lot of Pokemon that would take care of it. Primarina finally goes down and did a lot of work at this match. I want to use the Sigiwai. The Sigiwai is one of those sword sword dance variants. So I go for Sword Stance right here. However, Savali uses Punishment. Punishment is going to do a little bit more damage than I anticipated because it's a critical hit. I would have survived it, but that's not the case. So the Sigiwai doesn't do anything, which is unfortunate. I go into Incineroar. I'm Almost out of options. I only have two Pokemon remaining at this point in the match. Go for the Darkest Lariat here. It's not very effective to the Kamolo. Go for the U-Turn. I don't have a good attack. I get a critical hit on the U-Turn, but it's not going to matter in the long run. So we're going to finally see Dragology out here. He goes for the Brick Break. Kamolo does, and it's not very effective. However, he can just utilize his Z power, so that's what I was fearing this entire time. I wish I had my Alakazam, because if I had Alakazam, I would have outsped him and knocked him out. Not the case here in this match, as we're about to see the Clangorous Soul Blaze into action. A very powerful Z power move, specifically designed for Kamoa. And it's a very powerful attack as well. Nobody's going to survive it unless they're a fairy type or something. Anyway, so we're going to lose Dragology. And we see the boost that Kamolo gets from using the Z-Power. That's why I think he's banned. I don't know if it's, if it's banned or not. I have to double check. But from my understanding, I think it could be banned. Kamolo goes for the Brick Break. It is super effective. You see that right there? And all I can really do is go for the Earthquake. And that's not going to... All because of the boost. Like, he has a plus one defensive boost. But that is not going to do it. So we lose this match to Dark Pit. I really good battle, though. I had fun. I might want to do more of these with all the three starters in one match. Because it worked out. They have all good synergy in between them. And I can always improve the team some. But it's, it really depends on what you're facing. Like a Darkrai and a Kamolo. That could destroy your team and all that. Yeah, so anything can happen. You might see this team again. I'm going to go and adjust a few things. But other than that, I had a fun time this battle. I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyway, so that's going to be the end of this battle video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and check out all my other videos. I'm in the process of recording episode 9 for the Battle Street collaboration. If you haven't seen any of those battles yet, there's a playlist for all of that for you. 
Alright, you guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye, trainers.